beautiful friends, it is Mimi here today and today I'm here with my mother-in-law or more like a second mom, Lydia. Lydia, thank you so much for being <laughs> here today with me. It was a little bit of a work to convince her to come on the camera with me. Yes. But I have the pleasure of always being around Lida, her beautiful energy and wisdom and I feel like she has so much to share with the world and I'm excited to give the platform to her today to be with me and share her message. Hello everyone, it's a pleasure. It's, um, thank you for support. Thank you for understanding that I'm first time and I, I'll be honest like a, for all your questions what you're asking me. You're so cute, I love it. It's not your first time, you've been in so many of our vlogs. So I feel like there's definitely nothing to be nervous about because you've been in front of the camera many times before and I feel like you're natural especially when we do like a Q&A type of things like whenever I ask you anything on camera you just naturally channel um, everything that comes straight from your heart now what we've done today is I actually asked you yesterday on my Instagram to ask us questions and I've made a list of all the favorite questions yes in my own handwriting here because I don't want to be looking to the phone and like it's just overwhelming there were so many questions so I picked the ones that you guys asked over and over again and here we're gonna answer them right now I'm excited the first question and again this is like literally every other person asked this question how did you guys meet and what was your first impression of each other do you want to start that one yes when I after my work I came home and mm -hmm. uh, Alex and me were like we were at home and watching some movie mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> that was first impression because when I soon I came and Mimi she approached me and she said uh, hello nice to meet you and she hugs me and this is a state till now warm Aww. and it's just <laughs> it's sincere and this is what like my first impression oh thank you yeah I, I remember it I'm trying to remember the name of the movie but um there's a book based on that movie as well. Anyways, it'll come to me, but I remember like it was literally yesterday we were watching this movie and then Lydia came in and I don't even know if like I knew that we're gonna meet that day. It was kind of unexpected, but also felt very comfortable. Like almost like I met an old friend. Like there was yeah. no, um, nothing that was not true. No, everything was natural. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it was just like, oh hey, like I've known you for a while and from that moment on, it was just really yeah, effortless same. for the most part. Most part. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, I remember giving you a hug and I just like always wished to have this type of experience and this type of relationship with my mother-in-law. I grew up um, in a culture where People almost like ridicule the relationship you have with your in-laws. It's almost like it's expected that you're gonna have a bad relationship. And I always knew that I don't want that for myself and for my experience. That's when, when I met Lydia and like we just clicked that first moment. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Then the next one is for you. How to leave a good first impression when meeting your in-laws for the first time? I, I think it's a, the best, it's a, be yourself, don't be nervous, and uh, just warm and uh, loving, like um, look at this person, like seems like you know this for a long time, yeah, just be yourself. Don't try to make an impression like you are such a special and such, just uh, nice and warm and respect that lady mm. this is a, like i think it's also because this lady she raised the, this uh, her son and for her it's definitely it's a great pleasure to have a son this is real special it's like a new step for her son mm -hmm. and i think it's a it's a for mom it's a absolutely it's a special new chapter and every mom she wishes for her boy and girl have a great life great uh, experience mm -hmm. and this is what about like it's just nothing to worry i think it's just like um, it's because if you truly love this man mm -hmm. that's just like you can see in your eyes 
-hmm. And this mom should be happy because you are happy with his son. Mm -hmm. This is like it's a kind of like all like a sparkle because mm -hmm. every mom wants to, to her kids be happy. I can only imagine how how big of a deal that is for the mom, you know, to raise a little baby to become a man, yes. and then one day he brings the girl. It's like, oh my goodness! Yeah, crazy. I think I think it's everyone wants them to be happy and independent and mm -hmm. have a new life. Right. <laughs> I think that's solid advice. Be yourself. Okay. The next question is, what's your favorite thing about each other? You want me to go first? Or yes, you want please. To go first? Okay, my favorite thing about you, I don't have just one thing, I have many things, but if I had to pick just maybe three things, it's that you are always so love, loving and kind to everybody you meet. And another thing is you are always yourself, like you're always the same. There's never any front that you put on when you meet people or with me or with anybody. You're kind of the same with everybody. You're very real. Mm -hmm. Um, like what you see is what you get. So I love that about you. And again, I love that love and kindness that you give off um, to everybody. I feel like there is no separation um, in the way you treat other people or your family. Is when you meet a stranger, let's say a lot of times we introduce our new friends to you when they come over and you're the same with them as you are with us. Like mm -hmm. always very loving, always very kind and always very accepting and compassionate. And that level of kindness and acceptance, I haven't met or I haven't experienced in many, if any people. So it's a very special quality that Thank I you. love by you. Thank you. <laughs> so it was like five things maybe, but yeah. I don't know, it all goes yeah. together. Yeah, for me, like what I really love about you, it's definitely because um, I still learn your confidence, your beauty, you. you always every day, it's a, have a life like a special day. Mm -hmm. This is like, it's, a, it's always amazed me. It's not like a just preparation for life you have. You have a real life every day. You do your best, you look your best, you uh, just sharing your best. And this is, I think it's amazing because it's a, we all, here to have a, that special what you have you sharing you sharing like your beauty you sharing your experience you sharing your kindness and knowledge and you would like to spread and this is what i love about you mm -hmm. because it's a it's a not kind of you you're okay and that's it and like you love to share you love to people like have a best life and just see more beauty see more love because it's a love it's everywhere and you are really great oh you're so sweet thank you yeah, this <laughs> is what i i see in you thank you i appreciate that all right next question do you ever fight or have any arguments or disagreements and if you do how do you deal with that you can start first i would say <laughs> we are energetically very compatible and what I mean by that if you've read my book the bingo theory it explains it really well basically you know in a nutshell every person has a dominant energy so somebody could have a dominant masculine energy even if they're a female and somebody could have a dominant feminine energy even if they're male so in our relationship like I am slightly more masculine so my dominant energy is masculine and Lydia's dominant energy is Feminine. feminine so like we are very like our relationship is very balanced as you might have noticed in the previous question what I said I love the most about Lydia she said I said kindness and lovingness and <laughs> that um, acceptance and she said confidence which is more of a masculine so the kindness lovingness is more of a feminine quality and the confidence is more of a masculine so again we have this natural compatibility we hardly ever argue definitely we never fought like ever uh, i'd say it was more like you and alex sometimes arguing and like i would come in the middle like as a referee to like create peace but we've had some heated um discussions maybe in the past 
maybe over I don't even know anything I don't remember anything specific do you remember anything? I remember okay. one only like okay a, yeah it's like a, a, only one I, I okay. do remember because when we went to yeah. South Africa yeah. you remember when Alexa she was very little mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, uh, I had my own approach like a, that's a, like a, this is about napping and Mimi she has her own because mm -hmm. she's a new, she was three months yeah right. she's a new mom as well and I had my idea, I was saying that you should read the, the book, this is a book about like a baby, like they have a, like the longer they sleep, the yeah. better they feel and great development. And uh, Mimi, she was at that time, like this is exactly this moment because Alexa, she didn't want to sleep. She was like, oh my a, God, the yeah, first three months was yeah, like she, crazy. She yeah. was, a, we tried to like her sleep and she didn't want to date. And we, we tried nap. to, because we never wrapped her. Yes. And then when we got to Cape Town, it was so windy, but she could only sleep in a stroller in yeah. London. But then when we got to Cape Town, yes. we couldn't get her to sleep in a stroller because it was so windy. And like the blanket was, everything was just flying out. So then we we asked Lida to yeah. like, uh, what is it called? Like when you wrap the baby yeah. in a blanket, basically. In a blanket, yeah. So, and then, yeah, this is what's funny because I said, you didn't want to do this. And then now you want me to do this. But we had no choice. And they yeah. said, it's an exceptional, a special moment because we just, this one, we don't know to, what to do. And we solve it. It's not about mm. arguing. It's just yeah. about, because the young generation that's why i have a respect always for young mom or couple they have a baby because they have their own idea how to raise a child and doesn't mean like i'm right because i had my own mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean like it's a right and i always respect mm -hmm. that's why for that's me that's the key i think yeah, yeah i think it's a key because many parents they thinking especially like my generation mm. they think i know yeah. this is, has to be like this and they don't give a young couple with little baby freedom to mm -hmm. experience because it's their experience it's not like other grandma like a grandfather experience and this is like a real key to have a peace with young couple especially with baby let them mm -hmm. handle this learn from the maybe sometimes mistakes maybe sometimes they adjusting to baby and it's everything fresh and many adults they have a strong opinion how mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. raised like mm -hmm. a child and it's a no good for young couple because the learning and our i think it's a responsibility as the mm -hmm. grandparents just observe mm -hmm. and maybe give a love just maybe just bring something uh, like food mm -hmm. maybe just um just in general but don't give any advice i think if they don't ask mm -hmm. this is my idea it, brilliant it, advice i, I think. think it's in general if they don't ask you're happy you just come just saying oh the baby crying they know they cry. This doesn't mean like they, they have a more connection with baby than us grandparents. This is what I learned. Mm -hmm. This is every mom, every father. They have a deep connection with baby and they have a special connection and they know it's a different connection. Mm -hmm. What I'm thinking maybe. That's why even with Alexa, what happened because daytime when I was going for a walk for a nap and Alexa, she was always like looking at me, da, 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 da. I was thinking, why? Like I just, I was with her one hour and she still doesn't sleep. And after me, she said, I never also had a nap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is what started learning about Alexa. She doesn't have a nap. Yes. Well, she dropped uh, like she dropped her naps really yes. quickly. So she, let's say when she was three months, she quickly went from like, I don't know, six naps to five. And then, you know, later she dropped it from five to four, four to three. And by before she yeah. was two, she had no more naps. And even now yeah. I tell her like your cousins, <laughs> especially Adriana, who is a year older, like she still takes like a good two hour nap, maybe not every day, but oftentimes, but she just laughs at me and like any attempt for me to like nap myself and like lure her into <laughs> nap with me, not a chance. So every child is different. And what yeah. I hear from you is like every parent will be different. And like what I love about you as um, a mother-in-law or just as a parent, because I observe the way you are with Alex, like you always give him freedom yes. to make his own decisions. And you do not, oftentimes you do not interfere with your opinion maybe you even know what's best but i think the true wisdom is not 
um, pushing your opinion, but rather allowing your child to become stronger by learning through life experiences what is best for them. I agree. Yeah. Yes. All right, next question. Do you agree with Mimi's parenting style? I guess it's a follow-up question that a lot of people ask that. Like, do we have different styles? I can say, like, my opinion about all of what I was saying, yeah. I will repeat again. It's just I respect every parent. And it's just like every parent's like in the kids' relationship, it's absolutely different. Mm -hmm. And like I have my daughter and they have their own yeah. relationship with kids. And it's also, they build it. And it's also, they have their inner connection with baby. And they, it's absolutely, I think it's a respect and allowing this young couple have their own experience. Mm -hmm. This is what I learned because I was 19 when I had my first baby Elena and we didn't read books. I was telling Mimi, mm -hmm. we didn't read books. It comes naturally to every mom as soon as we have a baby. And in two weeks already you know what to do. Like you like just you know baby crying or time to baby to sleep. It's a calm naturally, and this is like a kind of connection. And from outside, people give so many advice, but probably it doesn't work like a, for Mimi or maybe for my daughter or other young couple. That's why we have to, as a couple, listen like a language of a baby. And the more love we give baby, the more baby they feel our vibration, yeah? mm -hmm. they feel our emotions. They only what can read only our emotions. And the more we calm, the more we loving, the more we like uh, can hug a baby. They need a hug, they need love. Mm -hmm. It's only what they need. They need, And uh, it's what about not we know, but how we feel. Mm -hmm. And the more as a couple happy, the more happy kids. Absolutely. This is what my opinion mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Just no advices, I think, is till young couple ask. This is my idea. I love that. <laughs> That's why it works, you know? That's how you have peace. How would you describe your relationship with Mimi? I think it's easy and natural. Like, uh, just, you're not thinking. I think this is what about, all about even like a couple relationship or mother-in-law or mom and daughter or mom and son. It's a, it's a kind of respect. Mm -hmm. It's not like about somebody doing wrong or right. It's just like a, it's a, everyone has their own journey. It's a, and this is what about, it's a freedom. Mm -hmm. It's not about like, a, I did tell you, you have to follow my rules. I, I don't agree with this. It's only what I agree. It's a, we are here as a parents, when kids little help them, like introduce this world introduce this as a beautiful world and not about just what about wrong in the world just everything what is a beautiful mm -hmm. what is a, like a atmosphere and this is about we create atmosphere and after baby they have for whole life this is experience mm -hmm. this is what i think it's our responsibility as a parents the more love not like a selfishness but more real love true love true kindness respect child even like a curiosity allow them make a mistake when they leave it going and just learn how to communicate with this world these people with kids it's also kind of so new for kids that's why it's a, for us it's a huge responsibility to show more kindness, more like a, just everyone is a great. Um, it's a Mimi, she knows, like my understanding, everyone on this planet, it's a great person. It's only maybe they had a not easy childhood and this is what they about. And sometimes we close our heart. And still, I do believe if you show kindness, they show you kindness back. This is my, understanding this what about and parents it's a it's a definitely all about love all about playing with kids not giving them so many don't 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 so and many rules so yeah. many rules it's a more kind of in the playful and my also uh, idea the more couple happy 
like their relationship and child in this atmosphere just naturally be a happy person. Mm -hmm. This is like I'm thinking. So how do you describe our relationship? Our relationship, I was saying from beginning, <laughs> easy, easy, easy and yeah. natural. It's yeah. just like, a, I cannot say like we have to think twice. Uh, I think it's just a, Easy, natural, effortless. Easy, easy. I cannot I say like, like I'm just... Um, otherwise, I, maybe I'll be staying home all <laughs> It is really easy. I feel like we're, we're obviously, we have a relationship being like a mother-in-law, daughter-in-law, but I almost feel like it's beyond that. We're like really just family. And I, I feel in a way that we are friends, but even closer than friend. Again, it's like a... You know, the only other word I can think of is like, really, I feel like you're my second mom. Like, I feel close enough to tell you basically anything about my life. And like, I feel like I share everything with you. And you have you share a lot of things with me as well, yeah. which I appreciate. So yeah, very close, easy, effortless relationship. Kind yes. of the same I have with Alex, <laughs> <laughs> but different. Okay, so this again was a very commonly asked question. Were you jealous at first when Alex started dating me? Because I guess a lot of women find that their uh, mother-in-laws or maybe um, the mothers of their boyfriends feel jealous and like qu are quite possessive of their sons. Yeah. Did you feel that jealousy when Alex started dating me or maybe somebody before me? No, I never had uh, to even Elena or Alex because is that I, my understanding, it's a, I think this is why, why we have a kids, my understanding to allow them to grow up and have their own life. Mm. This is what they, but it's not the owl, like uh, they have to keep them forever. This is my child and like uh, he's better or she's better. You're not comparing. I think you mm -hmm. just allowing kids uh, grow up mm -hmm. and if they find the meet a partner, just, uh, I can see just be on their side, mm -hmm. just be wiser, mm -hmm. don't be like a childish as an adult, don't think like, a, it's not like, a, like it's, for me it's like a kid holding a toy mm -hmm. and not giving everyone. Yeah, it's not, it's not your possession, right? Yes. Your child is not your possession. Yeah, yeah. this is what it's about, it's a, like, a, it a, looks like a, absolutely, mm. we have to grow up and we mm -hmm. have to be really like a, always when we inside understand like uh, is it amazing is it amazing like uh, my child loves someone and just like they open heart and I think the more we encourage people and they like this young couple just I think it's even they arguing don't try to take one person like a side mm -hmm. this is I think it's I always I can <laughs> listen like a Often you take my side, actually, if we have an argument with Alex, you're like, oh, I actually agree with Mimi. And I'm like, like, you're honest. Yeah. Like, if Alex has a better, po not a better point, yeah. but more valid point, then you'll, you know, you'll support him. But if I have a more valid point or... But if mostly I can, yeah. I can even see, like, a, I, um, uh, I can see this is a, your relationship. Mm -hmm. I think it's you like... usually a, don't uh, Yeah, I think that. it's not even, I think it's not even right to be between couple. Mm -hmm. I think it's like it allow them to sit and talk and mm -hmm. encourage even. Mm -hmm. You can encourage and see, oh, this is like a sit and because now nobody against each other. It's sometimes some argument. You don't, you have your point of view and mm -hmm. maybe Alex has his point of view and you sit and you talk. Mm -hmm. And I think my opinion again, mm -hmm. if not asking, I don't have to even yeah. tell yeah. what I'm thinking. I love that. I think this is this my is... biggest um, learning from you as a parent is again to give that freedom and autonomy to your children to go and live their life in the way that they choose to and then learn from that. <laughs> you yeah. know, nobody's right or wrong. It's just there's an, different experiences. Yeah, especially like we, as like what I'm saying, like a, like a, I had my own experience, and it's my experience. It doesn't uh, help your experience because it's a absolutely new generation. Mm -hmm. It's a new technology, and even raising kids differently. Mm -hmm. And 
many somehow people they think and they know better yes we have our own experience definitely only it's amazing experience but it doesn't fit for this new life even like for now like a, my grandkids they are next generation and i'm learning from them because it's a they know how to be happy they know how to be in the moment they know how to enjoy life and for me they might teach you not i am their teacher that's what about and this is what about like i think it's a when uh, my advice for like a, a, for parents who have a, like a young couple just just love them and just allow them build relationship mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. from beginning i know sometimes it definitely some uh, disagreement or you don't know you're learning about each mm -hmm. other and when you're learning and parents they thinking oh this is a he's not good for her or she's not mm -hmm. good for her mm -hmm. how you know because how they learn about it. it's not about uh, you met someone and your happiness and <laughs> happiness it's you you kind of like a need time to discover mm -hmm. to discover each other and from like a parents i think it's only as i'm saying it's a just love support mm -hmm. and sometimes it's the best i think it's the best i think that's great advice. yeah all right next question talk about your relationship with mimi's mom because i feel like we have a very unique situation where you and my mom are actually like very close friends, like besties, you know? So it's, I mean, yeah. I know this is very special, not only to have a good relationship with your mother-in-law, <laughs> but also for your mother-in-law to be besties with your mom. Um, so how did that come about? Yeah, this is like, we, we do have a great relationship. I am happy because we can talk about anything and just uh, in a good time. And sometimes we could be sharing some what happening because it's also great about because when uh, I was amazing, uh, like a vacation, mm -hmm. yeah, we went for vacation with Lala, only two of us. When we first started dating, literally, it was maybe a year into our relationship. <laughs> and then you guys met and you wanted to go on holidays. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I think because, you know, you, you didn't have anybody to go with. My mom wanted to go as well. My dad didn't want to go. And then yeah. you ended up going together. So basically we sent them together <laughs> and you just met at that point. Maybe yes. you've seen each other once yeah. and you ended up staying together and like sharing a room for seven days. And it was yeah it was really i think it's about also i can say it's a great key for moms because <laughs> send your moms away together <laughs> yeah because you learn like this is what about you became more friends because it's a uh, you sharing again your experience like what happening you evening you talking uh even we were crying like it just she was saying her story i was saying like uh, my story is very colorful <laughs> It's like a movie <laughs> like a movie and uh, she's listening and listening i was telling uh, like uh, like probably um because we have a, a very different experience mm -hmm. uh, like uh, she's uh, married for like one man and she loves him whole life and it's different uh amazing and my experience is totally different and that's why for her it's uh, interesting listening my story because it was like a um absolutely different and we became after this uh, vacation we had connection mm -hmm. yeah th what i can say nothing to fight and it's a we are here to help kids mm, i love that yeah to build a beautiful family it's not about us again like uh, this is what we learn it's not about us yeah. it's not about what i love or yeah, yeah, yeah. like a, it's just a, it's a kind of team I love After that. it's mm -hmm. a team. That's how it should be. Like yeah. you want to support the couple to actually stay together. Yes, it's a, like a, this is what about. Like it's not like a oh like a somebody better or not. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely not. Because it's a it's a two people together. It's a kind of like it's same like a baby. When you have a baby, it's a first experience. And when your baby grew up mm -hmm. and it became a man and a young woman, and they build it again like a new life. Mm -hmm. It's a new again like a chapter and we are here again protect these kids mm -hmm. it's again like as a parents we are here to allow them 
just learn mm -hmm. what is about like to create new life, mm -hmm. new tradition, mm -hmm. new relationship. Mm -hmm. And this is what Different about. milestones, yeah. yes. Yeah, no, it's great. All right, <laughs> next question. We have a few more. This video is already yes. really long, so we're going to try yes. to be a little more concise. Yes. Yes. Um, okay, Mimi, what did you learn from your mother-in-law? Again, I feel like you have taught me so many different things, but I think the biggest lesson and takeaway that I've gotten from you is to, um, kind of we discussed this earlier today, is to allow my child and actually anybody in my life, any relationship, to allow that complete freedom and to love fully unconditionally. Like one thing I notice about you as a parent, which I think is so unique, that when you're in Canada, because we live in separate countries, right now you're here with us in England, but you normally live in, in Canada, in Toronto, and we're here in London, England. Like when you're there, like you don't even call Alex, like there's sometimes maybe even a month where you guys don't talk, but you don't like feel, um abandoned or like you don't create any internal drama like when he calls you you guys have a nice chat and if he doesn't call you for a few weeks or even sometimes maybe a month you're fine you still love him the exact same way um you're not building any resentments you just understand he's a young man who has a lot on his plate and again like i think as a parent that's such a wise thing to do because many parents will start like complaining oh how come you don't call me you don't love me like they create all this drama but you're again it's a level of wisdom that is so unique um and i, I appreciate about that and that's something i've learned is to like give the freedom and love unconditionally whether the person is here not yeah. whether they give something to you they don't give something to you yeah. you just love them unconditionally regardless of the circumstances so biggest lesson for you uh, did you have any expectations of Mimi when uh, Alex and Mimi got married? I never have expectation from anyone. This is a problem. I love that. Yes, you just <laughs> answered. There you go. Yeah, I just. I think the secret of life. I think it's the secret of life. Yeah, we this got is... it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a. When it's impossible. I think like uh, just that nobody own us anything in the reality. It's a, what also recently I'm learning and more and more. It's about how to be connected with myself. This is because it's only love comes from inside. Mm -hmm. And when you're okay with yourself, mm -hmm. you have no expectation mm -hmm. from people. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of people adding, yeah, adding yeah, a little bit that. more, oh like a more colors in my life. Mm -hmm. But I like, because me too, I learning mm -hmm. because also I do understand. I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm always doing the right thing. I also like uh, crying. I also uh, like I have my own um, experience. Yeah. I cannot say like uh, everything like a uh, easy breezy, but I, what I learned from life, it's uh, my responsibility feel and like be connected with myself mm. and just exp like yes have feeling emotions it's a helping us yeah. to go through life definitely but it's a, about like a, it's a people can help me mm -hmm. but nobody has to this is what about and no expectation that's mm -hmm. what about i have no expectation from my kids i don't have expectation from people ever because mm -hmm. I know we all here, like have our own journey. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's not about like somebody has to, if somebody doing for us, it's a mean they doing from love. And but not, I, I'm telling you have to love me, mm -hmm. why you don't love me. I think it's a, it's a silly. Like to me, I think it's a, even sometimes when women saying, oh, he doesn't love me. It's a, like, absolutely. I think it's a very, um, first question to yourself like my understanding yeah. it's a because when you love yourself not like fully like it just mm. with your mm -hmm. uh, all uh, not perfect mm. uh, like unconditionally. unconditionally yeah yourself you see life differently Absolutely. yeah you see yeah. life differently you are happy on your own yeah. this is what, yeah. what we yeah. have to learn i what i you i feel wholesome yeah. i realize like it's all about like a, you are like an independency mood, mm. like a you independency, even you upset is what I can also suggest people. 
it's not expectation but probably mm -hmm. sometimes if it's really like a tough situation it's okay to ask someone you trust mm -hmm. and you can say you know i'm going through difficult time i don't know what to do mm -hmm. and can you just see like what maybe you can give me some idea mm -hmm. how i'm going through because i cannot see myself in this situation mm -hmm. this is i do understand mm -hmm. but um it's a we uh, no expectations yeah mm -hmm. yeah cool. this is for sure and the last question is a bit of a fun one um what was our favorite vacation together but, oh my goodness we have been so blessed to have traveled a lot um, so a few memories pop up right now in my head, but my absolute favorite one would have to be the first time we went to south of France. Um, I was pregnant, I think, with Alexa. Was it the first time? Was I pregnant the first year? No, I wasn't even pregnant. So the first time I went to yeah. south of France, I wasn't yet pregnant and my parents came as well because it was always our dream to take our family on holidays with us. and when we were finally able to do it. And this was like the first trip when like everybody was together. Um, maybe the first real first one was our um, wedding in Dominican Republic, but this is the first one from after that experience. So especially South of France, because we went there, um, just the two of us, when we first started the business and we always dreamed that like one day we'll get a chance to like share this with our parents. So finally that day came and like we rented this beautiful house and Lydia came and my parents came and it was such a beautiful week or two, maybe it was 10 yeah. days or something. Yeah. And like everybody got along and our friends also came, Didi came with her family and it was just amazing. Like so many laughters, we cooked together, we ate together and it was like very fulfilling like wholesome experience that I will always hold yeah. in my heart. It was very special, special time. Yeah, that was amazing. And also uh, for yeah. me, it's always like, because uh, it's- uh -huh. uh, I'm curious what you're gonna say. Uh, uh, I love Pasitano. Yeah. Yeah, and because it's not only- Which one of the times? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's not a new, like also created, this is what about, uh, like uh, Alex and Mimi created tradition. We are going to Pasitano almost every year, mm -hmm. yeah. And this is what about, and this is what I think it's a in the rich life of all of us mm -hmm. because we get to share the experience. Yeah, it's yeah. This is what I more think, intense. Like, I think this is also um, I am always grateful and always appreciate because it's a special moments. I'm and, grateful you say yes because also some parents perhaps wouldn't wanna. I doubt any parent would want to be with a kid, but perhaps they prioritize their career or some other things where I feel like all of our parents like actually want to also spend time with us, which I think is such a privilege that we want to spend time with our parents and our parents want to spend time with us. So it's incredible that, you know, we yeah. get to have those experiences. Yeah, I, think I agree with you because it's, um, it's uh, from your point, but I'm thinking not many uh, young couple they invite parents mm -hmm. this is a, like also i can see it's also rare when uh, not very often the young couple would love to uh, invite and the uh, parents they prefer with uh, friends mm -hmm. and also kind of uh, I, this is what about i think it's a, this is a also adding point we are creating our together mm -hmm. together and it's like we love to spend time together yeah and it's so yeah i think people think that's quite weird like people always say how come you're on holidays with your family but i'm <laughs> like who else would i want to be on holiday with obviously we always invite friends as well especially if we like rent big places we always invite like anybody who can come but like family is always first to us because they're the closest um, yeah, so but yeah, with the Positano for you. Yeah, was... Positano is uh, because always it's a magical, and because I'm very romantic person, for me it's uh, mostly like uh, everything it's, uh, beautiful. Oh. <laughs> well, on that note, we're gonna end this video because I feel like it's already like probably 45 minutes long. <laughs> Thank you again, Lydia, for um, Thank you for joining me today me. on this video. See, it's not easy, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, I did my best. I was honest, like uh, how I feel, and uh, I always like uh, I can say only encourage everyone be yourself and respect kids and. Uh, I love them unconditionally. It's just yeah. not about they uh, have to, they don't have to. It's all about they would love to. Yeah. 
This is what it, it, it's a different. We are raising kids not because we are they have to do something for us. We are raising because we enjoying this moments after moment the, when they born and they grew up and you see they have a family and mm. I am happy because I have a kids grew up and I have grandkids. Oh my God, how, how many grandkids? Four, four now. Yes, yeah. and, it, uh, and I think it's a blessing and I always uh, like appreciate like every every moment and it, it's a really enriched life. It's a, that's what about sometimes life it's not all about money. Sometimes also life about your heart, not about like what uh, is it good for me and check mark, check mark, is it okay for me? <laughs> And just about like, a, if you follow your heart, you will have a great life. And this is what I'm thinking. I love that. If you follow, follow your heart and you'll have a great life. <laughs> so on that note, we're going to end this video. Thank you again for watching the whole video. If you're here, that means, that means you watch the whole thing. So we we'll both appreciate that. Mm -hmm. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you've enjoyed the most in this video. What was one? Um, takeaway for you and also share this video with your friends and family maybe with your mother-in-law uh, maybe you can do a tag with her it could be a fun little exercise as well thank you again thank Lots you of love bye bye, bye.